welcomes you to the Robin Park Arena. And ladies and gents, all the action tonight on VIP Boxing TV. Your commentators ringside, Luke Madeira and Andy Kremner. Also Facebook Live, hashtag Tweet VIP Boxing. Now ladies and gents, your student charge tonight is Mr. Kurt Haslam. Your time keep is ringside, Gary Grennan and Phil Morris. And your referee, where the action starts, is Mr. Mark Lyson. Introducing the contestants this evening is fighting out of the blue corner, an 85 professional career, a record of 11 wins, 65 defeats and 4 draws. He weighed in tonight at 8 stone and 4 pounds. He wears the red with white trim and hails from Nava, Estonia, ladies and gents, Sergei Tassimov. And fighting out of the red corner, his six contests tonight, a record of five wins, a perfect record. He went in at eight stone, five pounds and two ounces. Tonight he wears the purple shorts with white trim. He comes from the fighting city of Liverpool, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Twitty Smith. This is four three-minute rounds in the Super Flyweight Division. Okay, boys, tell you to play. Defend yourselves at all times, boys. Pull it to Yeah, Smith trained by Ben Lancaster. Very good coach. He's had him a very long time. He'd be looking to make a statement tonight, Second Smith. Well yeah, being 31, you know, Smith will be wanting to get a bit of a push on with his career and challenge for titles. As you can tell, he's a very strong, uh, skilled southpaw. Yeah, I know Steve would have problems matching him tonight because there's not many flyweights knocking about in England. So they've got Tazimov in. Bit of a comeback this for Anthony Smith. Last fight was in 2014. He has a record of 5-0 and with one stoppage victory in there. But really, he's starting again tonight, isn't he, after such a long break from the ring? Yeah, I can imagine it'll be like making your debut all over again. Especially with that, you know, length of time out. But as you say, he's very was a very skilled amateur, and he can whack, he can whack for a flyweight, can Smith. Yeah, and the thing is with this weight, you get fast track, don't you? Because there's not a lot of so-called journeyman learning fights you can have before you're in there for titles. No, no, definitely. Like you say, he'll have four, or maybe three or four fights, and he'll be up there, and he'll be in line for an English title. Well, the 31 year old is more than capable. Yeah, he'll be looking to fast track from here, certainly at his age as well, this way. Well, that's a nice right up. Heavy shots there. A nice combination landed from Smith. Yeah, Tazimov just looking to hold. Is that how you pronounce it? We'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice uppercut on the way in there from Smith. Seems to be landing at will, really, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's, he, he seemed very stiff at the, you know, when he first came in, but he seems to have settled down now. He's getting into it. Ben Lancaster just asking uh, Twinny there to circle him. Ooh, oh, that's back in. And there he felt that, has him off. Yeah, nice left up there from the south pole stance. Yeah, Smith just looks that, that little bit stronger, that little bit bigger in there. You know, he's dictating this fight. And it'll um, be interesting to see how long this fight lasts. Yeah, and we were saying before, Smith will be looking to make a statement. You fancy him to, to maybe get a stoppage tonight. He's landed a lot of clean shots so far. and We've, we've only just started this fight. Scheduled for four rounds, this one. needs to keep his distance. His opponent's looking to hold when he does get in close. Yeah, I think Tazimov's just trying to close that distance every opportunity he can. Yeah, and hold. He just, you know, Smith just needs to keep him at arm's length there, keep him on the end of his shots, and like I said, the stoppage will come if he just relaxes. He's really the opposite to Fonz, isn't he? Fonz is a guy that'll come in here and, and have a bit of a war, but Tazimov seems to be the kind of guy that just wants to get in close and survive every round, really. Yeah, I think that's down to uh, Smith's power. I think Smith's uh, troubled him a couple of times in there and he's just looking to hold and survive. He certainly snapped 
Tazimov's head back on a few occasions with the shots that he's landed. Michael Pass has just asked, is Tazimov, isn't that a coffee machine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure to be honest with you. <laughs> Greg Shaw's just asked when the Fagan fight's on. The Fagan fight is uh, scheduled for half ten. Running a bit late though, aren't we? So probably more like so eleven o'clock, I think. Scholars? Depending on how, how long the, the other fights go tonight. Yeah, Second with fighters down. like uh, Dale Coyne on, I think we can expect a couple of knockouts, maybe. Yeah, you think so. <laughs> Come up with a bit more intent here, the coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get that jab going again and then work off it. Land those left hands that were hurting Tazanov in the first round. Like you say, they're just trying to hold when he's in close. Yeah, he seems very off balance when uh, Smith's at distance. Tazanov does when he's throwing shots. Very unorthodox stance he's got. Yeah, very awkward style to look good against. Oh, he's very bouncing there, he's a bit like a fly buzzing about. Yeah, and at 42 years of age, you credit to him. Yeah, you won't, you won't think he'd be boxing with that energy. <laughs> ben just asking there for a straight left from Smith. Wants him to step in with his straight back hand. Yeah, and I think that'll all come from the jab. Once he establishes that jab like he did in the first round, it, he did land a couple of those straight left hands and he'll be looking to do that again in this one. Just as we say, like the corner encouraged him to lead with that left hand, and that's certainly an option as well. Oh, that's a nice shot. There we go, that left hand landed then. Tazimov just closing the distance and holding, buying himself a few seconds. Michael Pass has just commented, he thinks that uh, Ismail is still going to be the champ tonight. He's also gone for a nap, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Paso. We're missing his uh, Elvis impressions in between rounds here tonight. Yeah, and in Preston he had a little bit of an incident with the microphone and decided to roll out of the ring. <laughs> I think yeah. he got away with that one, but I'll remind everyone of it. Yeah, he's a character here, he's Paso. <laughs> Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter, let us know what you think. Keep commenting on Facebook as well. We'll read out as many comments as we can. Still a lot of action to come. Still Dale Coyne, Mike Stafford, Craig Johnson, Danny Wright, Steve Rogan, Massey Fagan, and then the main event, the one that everyone's going to be tuning in for, Ishmael Colcoon. That should be a cracking fight. Performances from Smith so far. He's looked in control, never looked in danger. Ten seconds, corners. Seconds out, round three. Nice comeback this for him. He's certainly being made to work in there, but he's certainly on top as well. 
Yeah, he's had a frustrating cup, first couple of rounds to win here, and uh, he'll only get better as his fight goes on. Just getting rid of a lot of ring rust in there. Like I say, he's a quality uh, operator, is he? He's very strong. And I'll tell you what, Tosimov's come out with a bit of intent here, hasn't he? Just landed a flurry of punches. I'm not sure many of those punches landed, actually, but he certainly fired with a flurry of shots. Looking tired in there now, Tazimov, isn't he? I think that all that bouncing about that energy expended in the first couple of rounds is catching up to him a little bit. Yeah, that bouncing around in his stance, you know, as the rounds go on, you are going to tire us. That left, the left hand landed, the back hand. You know, a couple of people were asking for it on the Facebook comments and stuff. They thought that's the shot he should throw, and he's landed it there, certainly. Tazimov just spoiling again, like he has been in the opening two rounds. Getting in close, not letting 20 work. He is looking tired in there now, isn't he? That, yeah, he's that taking some big gasps in there now. Yeah, that movement stops as well. Praised him for it earlier, but seems to have run out a bit of energy. I think Smith's just got a jump on him here with the flurry, hasn't he? Smith's moving his head a lot, lot nicer in this round. A lot more relaxed. He's clearly took his instructions from his corner. And in a sense, I'm sure he'll be happy to get these rounds under his belt. Oh, that was a lovely left hand. Just wobbled Tazimov a bit. Yeah, but he's, he look, like I say, he's looking to hold again. He's definitely hurt there. And I think if he can land a few clean shots, the referee will have a look at this one. Oh, nice uppercut in there with that right hand. It doesn't seem to be much coming back now, he's just looking to hold, he's definitely hurting there. Just needs to be busy, doesn't he? And I'm sure the stoppage will come if he's busy. <laughs> calling, calling for that uppercut. I think it was an uppercut that set up that, that troubled him in the corner and set up this exchange. I'm sure Tazimov will want to survive this and get, get to the final belt. But I think the ball's in Smith's court, really. If he wants to get a stoppage, I'm sure he can get it. But equally, he might just be happy to get another round on his comeback under his belt. And like we said earlier, the domestic scene, there's not a lot of fighters around flyweight so I'm sure he'll be in tough fights soon so maybe if he does go to four rounds it'll be good for him and he can step up the rounds in his next fight as he goes towards championship action Ten seconds corners Seconds out for the fourth and final round. The last round is the coffee machine going to last? <laughs> oh, he's going to run out of caffeine. <laughs> that was a nice shot from 20 on the inside then. I think the pattern of the fight has been that Tazimov comes out as a go for 30 seconds or so and then runs out of steam and just tries to stick in there yeah, for the end of the round. Looking to spoil and just looking to make it horrible in there for 20. Uh, you know, you, you do feel for 20 with opponents like this, but you've got to beat them to get to that next level. You need to be careful with that head there as well, Tazimov. The last thing you want is a cut. Yeah, especially when you're trying to, you know, build some momentum, getting back into it when you've been out for a long time.
Ben Lancaster just asking Twinney to push him off there and let his shots go. Yeah, I think Twinney's best when he's at range, isn't he? He can let his shots go. Yeah, especially with an opponent like this. I think you need to keep him at arm's length and keep him at the end of your shots. It's very difficult to do, though, when your opponent's so intent of just charging forward and grabbing hold of you, isn't it? Yeah, of course, of course. You've always got to be resetting the feet like you just did there. But, like I say, it's very, very difficult against opponents like this. And Twinney's landing three or four shots as Tasimov comes in, but all he's doing is as soon as those shots land, he just grabs hold of him and doesn't let go. There we go again. Oh, nice uppercut mixed in there. Nice little change of angle as well. That was a nice shot. Been a good performance this from Smith. He never looked in danger. Pretty dominant in there. Yeah, and he's troubled Tazimov a couple of times there. And I'm sure he'll want the stoppage, but going the distance, if this does go the distance, won't be a bad thing. Get another round under the bank. Good for him to get back in there and get another win under his belt. Build some momentum from this. Good backhand there from Smith. Good to see he's not getting frustrated either in there. I know a lot of fighters will get frustrated when someone holds like this, but just happy to get the job done. No doubt he's got the win there. 40 36 on my card. Yeah, same here, 40 36. You know, great performance, especially coming off that big long layoff he's had. Over to the MC Don McGuinness for the scorecard for this one. I'm pretty sure everyone knows who's won this, but it's time for the formalities. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mark Lice, scores this contest 40 points to 37 in favour of your winner. Anthony Sweeney Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for. A very gallant opponent tonight as well, Sergei Kasimov.